Hello and welcome to another part of my combat system tutorial series. In this video we'll cover up how to create a stamina, health and stamina region system. So let's get into it. First we want to create the widget for health and stamina. Open it up and let's get two progress bars. One will be health bar, another one will be a stamina bar. Change the colors as you like and position them where you want them. Now let's close it and go to a third person character. Add event begin play. From this we want to create a widget. This widget will be the widget we now created and we want to promote it to variable. Now let's create another function. Uh, this will be update health bar and another one called update stamina bar. Let's go to the combat system component and we need to create some variables here. First will be current health. It will be of the type integer. Another one will be max health. Current stamina. And max stamina. Each and every one will be exposed on spawn and edit table. And now let's go back to the third person character. Grab your combat system component. From that we want to get current stamina and get max stamina. Now we want to divide them. Let's get the widget and get stamina bar. And let's set percent. Now we can return. Copy everything and paste it in update health bar function. We just need to change some things. First, we need to get max health and current health. And then we want to get the health bar widget. Now let's go to the event graph and on the event, event begin play we need both our functions and now we can add to viewport our widget. Now in the combat system component you can set up your current health, max health, current stamina and max stamina. I'm just gonna set it so you can see it updates. Now let's create stamina region. So for this we need one variable in the combat system component called stamina region per 0.5 seconds and one called stamina region pause after the attack. This one will be float. Now let's create a custom event called trigger stamina region. Set timer by event and the return value will be promoted to a variable. Let's call it stamina timer. Now the time will be 0.1 seconds and the event will be custom event called stamina region. From here we want to check if the current stamina is equal or more to max stamina. If it's not, we want to increase the current stamina by stamina region. And now we need to create another function called get player character. This function will be pure and let's just get player character with casting 
and return it as an output. Now let's go back and grab the get player character. From there we want to update stamina bar. And now we need to create another custom event called post stamina region. We need to get the stamina timer and post timer by handle. Afterwards we want to use retrigerable delay with the stamina region pose after the attack. And then we want to unpause timer. Now let's get the combat system component in the even begin play here. And let's trigger the stamina region. And we can also set up the variables right here. Um, if you not see them, uh, set them to edit table and expose on spawn. And now you can see the region is working. And the last thing we need to do, we need to create a custom event called stop stamina region. And we just need to get the stamina timer and pause it. So now if the stamina is full, we want to stop stamina region so the performance will be much better. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you somehow. If you want me to make more tutorials, please share, like, subscribe and yeah, bye.